Cooper, Tyson and Rosa, plus our two little dogs, Dixie and Lola. We've been living and traveling in our Ford Transit van for the past two plus years. We've spent the past two months in Baja, Mexico, and for the most part, it's been an amazing trip. But last week, as we were exploring Toda Santos, we came back to this. Now it's time to pick up the pieces and move on with van life. Day three, since the break-in, we can't get our window repaired until next week. So when we're driving in the morning, it's quite chilly. So I've got a sweater and a blanket on because we have to have this window open. We can't have the cardboard up or else Tyson can't see properly. But Dixie's loving the freedom of being able to stick her head out the window whenever she wants. So there's always a plus side to anything. Yeah. So Tyson's developed a real love for pickleball since we've been here. That's like a big, a big sport here. And I played a little bit, um, but he's way more into it. So we um, are Tyson's playing today and we're at a cool new location in Pescadero. And it's really great because I am just sitting here in the van watching him. There he is. And me and the girls have a front row seat. Dixie's just chilling, watching daddy play. We're headed north. I, I, I stopped at every stop sign. Yeah. I, and I was only driving 40. I stopped at every stop sign. I... I, I drove 40 through through town. I did not speed. I made sure I, I wasn't speeding. I was driving. Speed? Uh, 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 speed? Yeah, 40, 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, I, I don't know. Okay, and I stopped at every stop too. I, I, I made sure to stop at every stop. Go, go, break a shoe. You drive, break a shoe. Yes. Vacation? Uh, Con precaution. Con precaution. Oh. Okay. Go. We're okay? Okay. Okay. Let us. He said go. Complication. So they basically pull you over and for nothing and try to figure out if they're going to be able to get a bribe out of you. I guess we passed the test. So when you stop and you pull me over, I made sure to stop at every stoplight because Rosa had mentioned that this happened to someone that we follow on Instagram recently, um, where they tell you you rolled through a stop because everyone rolls through stops here. So since we saw that, we made sure to stop at every stop. I even stopped at one that I wasn't supposed to, but just to be sure. He pulled us over and on the translator app, he said that we rolled through a stop sign and we were driving over the speed limit. And I just said, nope, we stopped at every stop sign and then he ended up, he said, he, he said, I'll go tell my manager what you said and see what he says. So he went back and then he just said, go, complication. So I'm in some travelers groups on Facebook and one of the things that they say that happens is always bring fake license with you. Not fake license, but bring your old license if you've changed your address or they're expired. Or a photocopy of your license because what they do in Mexico is what people say is they take your license and as soon as they have your license in your hand they tell you that if you want your license back you have to go and pay a ticket in a city a couple hours away but if you pay the fine directly to them you can have your license back so what you're supposed to do is give them your expired license and when they threaten to take it away, say, yes, yes, give me a ticket. I will do everything properly. I will go and pay the ticket where I'm supposed to pay the ticket. And then what normally happens is they just, they get fed up, they get annoyed, they give your license back and they leave um, because all they wanted was a bribe. And fun fact, it's actually illegal for you to pay the bribe. So, um, in our insurance documents, it tells us do not pay a bribe, it's illegal. And then um, there was a little newspaper that came out in the town, um, one of the little towns that we visited, it's called the Gringo News. And it's um, a newspaper in Mexico and it basically says to start videotaping them um, because they don't wanna get caught and get in trouble asking for a 
arrived, so that's why I immediately turned my phone on. Um, who knows, maybe he saw that, maybe that's why he decided not to, but I don't know. What does it mean? I think it's a whale crossing. <laughs> We are in the middle of a desert. This is a terrible spot for a whale crossing. They should have thought of that before they put the whale crossing here. They should have put it like close to like the ocean or something. Not right here. Check out the salt mines behind us. I was so confused. I thought it was snow for a minute. That looks really cool. I love salt. So we're at our spot, right past the salt mines. Here we go. We've got a little fire pit. And this is the lagoon that is filled with gray whales. I've seen like a bunch of the plumes, so they're definitely out there. Um, but we haven't seen any jumping or anything. We have seen quite a few coyotes though, so we're keeping the dogs very, very close. We're just letting them out to basically have a nighttime. Pee and poo. This is our last night in Mexico. We're driving 10 hours tomorrow to cross the border. The insurance company pushed back us getting our window fixed so many times that basically tomorrow's the last day of our travel insurance. <laughs> so we gotta get out of Mexico. So we're still driving down the windy Baja highway, dusty windy Baja highway with a smashed side window. So but luckily it's not on my side of the car. It's very chilly in the morning, though. Very, very chilly. My energy to burn. So there's a bunch of whale tours, and basically they take you out, and then what everyone says happens, and there's tons of pictures, is you're only allowed to go so close to the whales, um, like, to just for safety for the whales. Um, but what they do is they push their babies forward because they're like friendly and they want you to pet them. Um, but we don't have time to do one, unfortunately. Next time. Next time. Manana. We'll save it for next time. Our van? Yeah, he's so pretty. Oh, Bart. Sorry you got broken. Getting an early start to the day. It's seven, but we're gonna gain an hour when we cross over to Guerrero Negro. Um, and I'm trying to keep the girlies warm because it's very cold and this window is still broken. because we saw a sign that there's no gas for 220 kilometers. So we're rolling the dice here. <laughs> so we're buying 10 liters for 300 pesos. It's, yeah, apparently there's no gas for 220 kilometers. I don't know. But anyways, this amount, if it's like mixed with water or whatever, we're actually, we still have gas in the tank, so we're not like running on empty. So uh, we're, we're having it, we're trying a new experience. We just got 10 liters enough to get us to the next gas station. It's very sketchy buying it from a car with broken windows, but that's the gas station here. Okay. Gracias. Gracias. Wave. Thank you. Waiting for daddy. This is our last grocery shop in Mexico before we cross the border. You can't cross the border with any like meat, cheese, or produce, but there's a ton of like chips, hot sauces, all that stuff we wanna get. So we're grabbing that now and I'm so happy. I found a place right across the border that can fix our window tomorrow morning at 8.30 and they said it'll be $205 and they want it 500 in Mexico. So things are looking up, it seems like our luck is turning and everything is going good.
I'm very sad to be leaving Mexico. I had such an amazing experience, but we are ready to leave after having our window broken and then having like a bogus police stop yesterday. We're just definitely feeling like we miss the comfort of, even the USA feels so comfortable to us being in Canada. So yeah, sad to leave, but also ready. Made it to the border. Hello, good morning. We just had a beautiful dip in uh, hot springs uh, over here in this little oasis. It's hot springs. It's amazing. But I just wanted to tell you, I'm taking this off and it's going to be the last time because today we're back in America. We're getting our window fixed. What's up? Last day of driving. Last day of driving in an open air cabin. Yeah, that'll be nice. How's it feel? Um. I'd like to thank my mom. Thanks, my mom. Grade two teacher. Look, this still got pieces of glass here. Your grade two teacher? Yeah. I would oh, not, Mrs. I never, Schultz. I would never be here if it wasn't for them. <laughs> anyway, just thought I'd share. We're getting our window fixed today, which is pretty cool because it feels unsafe and it's hard to find spots that are safe. Um, in regards to like. I wouldn't want to park in a Walmart parking lot with my window like taped up like that. Yeah, because uh, anyone can just reach in and then open the door and steal our stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Steal my wife while I'm sleeping? I'm a heavy sleeper. Yeah, you are. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. Good morning. This is a good shot. I like this. Look at this. Okay, so the hot springs over here were pretty well maintained. It was like concreted in. It was like a pool. Didn't want to bring the camera and show you because it was just a magical moment that we wanted to share for ourselves. Later this afternoon, we are going to need to take this guy for a wash. Because we're at a Baja. We're still in the desert. We're in California. Just passed the border last night. Found this spot. Woke up. Sunrise hot spring. Amazing. Beautiful. Uh, but safe. <laughs> it was the most important thing. So, we are off to get some stuff done. I've got the air conditioning on and I can actually feel it because there's not all of this hot air coming through this window. And I would like to make a quick shout out to Rosa who got sandblasted the entire Baja Peninsula. Just put up with it like a trooper. She was getting, this is where she keeps her water and and her water kept getting sand in it. It's oh, just... oh, oh yeah, I kept taking sips and there was sand in it. But all worth it for the adventure. I'm just so happy that these people were able to get us in like oh. the next day and fix it within two hours. They said it was gonna be like three to four hours and it was done in two hours and it looks great. It's not a stock Ford part I can see by the sticker, but it's got, looks like it has the same tint and it's like proper auto glass. It's not just like, <laughs> they just like cut a piece of, uh, Cut a piece of glass and stuck it on. It's it's the what good stuff. California was I had called Ford um, because our vehicle is a Ford Transit, and they said that it would take them a week to get the part in, but this place would be able to get us um, in the next day. They're just down the street. Oh, they washed my mirrors. Oh, they're so nice. Wow. We're so like everything's going good now, and we're we've got a month left on this adventure. We're gonna leave the vlog off here. Thank you so much for following subscribe so you can follow along okay so that encompasses our entire Baja Mexico road trip thanks for following us along if you stuck with us this long uh, you know we didn't show you everything just the highlight reel but let us know what you would want to see more or what you want to see less of uh, but that's cool that's fun bye